amigos, bienvenidos. Soy Jen Chicago y usted mira el sauce. I love talking in Spanish. I'm not really that good at it, but what a great excuse to start trying because May's coming up. But uh, before we start talking about señoritas or fiestas or cervezas, we got to talk about la semana pasada, okay? So siéntate. He's coming back. That's right. The announcement was made this week that Conan O'Brien is moving to TBS, bumming George Lopez's show to a later slot starting in November. I'll give you all a heads up when that gets closer, but if you can't wait to see Coco, just like me, he'll be performing his Legally Prohibited from Being Funny on Television tour at the Chicago Theater May 19th and 20th. Good news, the Cubs won their home opener versus the Milwaukee Brewers this week. The stadium was packed with excited Cubs fans, hoping that this year is finally the year of the Cubs. Hey Chicago, what do you say? Though I haven't quite figured out how to get Samson into Wrigley Field. We're mobile, right Samson? We've made some minor adjustments to my scooter, and now we are all over this town. Maybe uh, later in the week we'll go get you a haircut, huh? After a long Chicago winter, I don't know anyone who doesn't need a little pampering. Fortunately, Spa Week is going on now through April 18th. It's a similar concept to Restaurant Week, but it's not nearly as caloric. Spas are offering deals all over town for 50 bucks, treatments that are usually double that price. If you're looking for a great salon, might I recommend the one I go to, Aniko Salon and Spa in South Loop. It's a salon and a spa, so you can spend your whole day there, and I usually do. But at 50 bucks per service, you're doing yourself a favor. And if you didn't see my Gimme 5 interview with Marty Goyle last week, who is the owner of the Nico, you can find it along with all the past episodes on my website, jenchicago.com. Who wants to hang out with a sweet, handsome carpenter on Thursday? Me too. So we are in luck. Ty Pennington will be at the Kenmore Studio on Wells in Chicago this Thursday, April 15th. Come on down to meet him and watch as he competes with Chef Roger Herring in what they are now dubbing the greatest cook-off of all time. Ty will also be performing sketch comedy with Dirty Laundry, and the food is sponsored by the very yummy Soka Restaurant. So check back next week to see if I am able to get Ty sauced. Cinco de Mayo is coming up, and the literal translation is the 5th of May. But we're going to party on Friday, the 30th of April. Por qué? Because we can. What was once a celebration of the Mexicans overcoming the odds to beat the French in the Battle de Puebla has since morphed into an all-out celebration of all things Latin. Translation? That's just another reason to party. So I am hosting Fiesta de Mayo at The Joint on Friday, April 30th. We're going to have Mexican appetizers and pastries, face painting, sombreros, open bar, photography, a piñata, lots more. Of course, a ton of decorations. You know how I do it. I've got like 200 feet of Mexican cutout banner, and I intend to use it all. Todo. Look for the link to the party details on Facebook or at jenchicago.com. Ahora para algo un poco más pequeño. And now let's hear the tweets of the week. Yeah, 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 the iPad's cool and all, but will it blend? Will it blend? That is the question. I love my new iPad. It does a ton of cool things, but Will it blend? That is the question. Doesn't quite fit in the jar, but I can take care of that. I knew I could get the iPad in a Blendtec Total Blender. I think I'll press the I blend button.
Oh, pad smoke. Don't breathe this. Ah, that was one tough pad. The Jazz Institute of Chicago hosts a monthly jam sessions for students in the Cultural Center. Wednesday the 14th from 5 to 7. It's free. Congrats to new grandpa John Conway. We expect to see new pictures every weekend, John. The local tourist 40th birthday bash is coming up on May 8th and all the presents are for you. Bring your friends, it's going to be a great time. Who says romance is gone? Former ABC anchor Dan Ponce proposed to his girlfriend this weekend at the Chicago Theater. Tax day is coming up, and I got my extension at irs.gov. For tweets, links, past episodes, or more information about anything you saw in the sauce, head over to jenchicago.com. Well, SOS para esta semana. Shoot me an email at jen at jenchicago.com to let me know what other cool things are going on this spring in Chicago. Until I see you next week. You stay saucy, Chicago. Hasta luego. Vamanos, Samson.